myself, a lot of people don't know, I'm also a member of Florida Legal Service, Board of Directors. I was on there for the last 22 years, representing the people who cannot afford attorneys, people who cannot get health care, a lot of things they couldn't get, but I want to speak to you personally, is that you have to have a mind that making plans for the citizens of this community. Because last time I was here at a meeting, you had some people that got up and was using foul language and was demanding that you do certain things. But you have mentioned that for them, you have to do research before you make decisions. And I'm glad that you have the county here, and the county here, the county government, is to have information to share with anyone who wants to know what they can do, but they can't do anything unless you vote to do it. My word to you, I was born here in the Hastings. This whole area, I'll be 80 years old this year, this whole area was the town of Hastings. They didn't have where they draw a red pen mm -hmm. to make a line down mm -hmm. Hope Street all the way down. Mm -hmm. It was all the way back. It was the town of Hastings. Mm -hmm. And when the 1965 Voting Act law, they drew the lines mm -hmm. because they didn't want the people on that side, the northern side, to vote. It's not only happened here in Hastings, but that happened in the southern states of all of the southern states. This town can move forward. It can move forward because you have to think and have to plan. My word to you would be form a revitalization commission or either board and getting people on there that would have think about the future <laughs> because I know that you have it. I'm on the outside of the town now mm -hmm. because when they voted and I think it was 2004 whatever it was they made the line Hope Street mm -hmm. but we live outside the city limits so therefore we pay surcharge Mm -hmm. We pay surcharge for our water. That's why Hastings, people who live out of, out of the city limits, pay more mm -hmm. for water and sewage. Mm -hmm. People pay more for their telephone surcharges. They pay more because you have nothing but surcharges on your bills when you look at it. Mm -hmm. But this town can grow. You have to have that plan for the future because someone wants to see you dilute the town, disavow the town to become county. I would urge you to vote to keep the town and choose people that who wants to see the town grow so you can be able to excite the business to come in this town. That's what they did years ago. You can do this today. We need more of those people today. Yes. We need them in the last years. Yes, but the town has to think about that and to recruit them. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tucker. Ms. Jack. Howard. Carolyn Junior, 101 Chocolate Street. I'm Howard Kennerly. I apologize for being stinky, so if you smell something, it's me. That's okay. great. Okay. Um, we're building onto the church right up the street. I'm um, sitting here listening real quick. Um, 
we get our permits, I'm a builder, so we get our permits from the city of St. Augustine, where are we going to get them if we become county? Out of the county? Yes. Okay. And I, I went to the bathroom. I think you mentioned impact fees when I walked in, so we would be part of that package, which is not cheap anymore in St. John's County. For new, I understand, but there's still houses. I, I built a house over here in Bibby and it took me forever to sell it. And if I'd had to put seven to upwards, up thousand more dollars on it, I would have never sold it. Um, so it's under my thoughts here tonight and hearing these folks, keep it like it is. Thank you. All of you know me, most of you do. My name is Frank Sladish. I used to be a former mayor, I used to be a long term employee of the town, and I used to be on the commission with these fine people, a lot of them. First and foremost, I don't know the answers to the questions we're asking tonight, but I do know that when I came here, a lot like Tom said, I came here by choice. I came here because I wanted to live in Hastings and I wanted to be a member of this community and I did not want to be a member of another community. I didn't want to be City of St. Augustine. I didn't want to be Nocatee. I didn't want to be Palm Valley. I wanted to be a town of Hastings citizen. And the reason I chose this is because I could still walk down the street, say hello to my neighbors, know each of them, pass them by in the streets and get to know them. So I felt like I was part of a community. And that is really what this boils down to me personally is identity and this gentleman alluded to it control we have a one in 632 person vote right now a, a few built actually shorter if you don't count the north side which is an in, in part of the town which if you remember i stood with reuben carter god bless his soul in front of the county many years ago when Karen Stern was our representative, who in my opinion was the best county representative we ever had, trying to get things done. And Reuben asked them, he said, West St. Augustine is getting help. What about the north side of Hastings? Mm -hmm. And I will pose this question to the north side of Hastings. Do you feel to this day you've got the help that you need no. from the county? No. And I'm not bashing the county one bit, but I'm just asking you a certain question. And I will say this as well. I like voting on the things that happen in my neighborhood. I like voting on the things that can happen in my neighborhood. And I like making sure that the people that vote on those things are held to those standards. And I also want to say that, again, I'm not against the county really at all, but I do remember having many conversations as the mayor, as a representative, and as a citizen with those same folks on those boards when the times were good, that said, we believe in Hastings. We want you to annex that land in. We want to help you. We want you to grow. We want you to be a community of Hastonians. And again, we're part of the county. I, I like being part of the county. I, I, I like that. But I like being a Hastonian. And I haven't been here my whole life, but I'm going to be here my whole life. And I bought my house here through the SHIP program with the county. Because again, I'm not rich by any means, but I want a home. I want a community and I want friends. When I walk with Brenda Felder in her walks for childhood abuse, and we take care of the migrant workers that we can help and each other, that's what it boils down to me for Hastings is we help each other. We don't have much, but when times are tough, we get together, we hold hands and we are Hastings. Now, will we lose that identity? I don't know. But I can't say I certainly do not want to lose that identity. And as a taxpayer, I understand I pay more. But as an employee, I can tell you, and many of you know this because I've shown up at your house at 2 o'clock in the morning to fix problems that happen. The reality of it is, is you have somebody to go to immediately to resolve problems or issues. I don't know if that will still hold true. I can't answer those questions. But I can say the bigger a bureaucracy, Right now you have these folks right here that determine things with our input. And I hear people all the time on both sides of this issue to complain sometimes, very rarely to give positive thoughts, but those same people don't participate in meetings. They don't participate until they have a problem. But if they came to these issues and, and discussed them as a community, 
we could get through them. But instead, what we have is a lot of people that get angry at an issue, and they go and speak about that angry issue without ever having any discussions on it before that issue gets to that point. And with regards to water rates, I said this before and I'll say it a million times. It's simple mathematics. It costs XYZ to run a water plant. It costs XYZ to pay for it. Whether the county takes it over or we continue it, I can tell you right now, the numbers are, look fine and that's dandy, but you heard that gentleman himself say that we'll have to review if improvements are necessary. And I can tell you right now, improvements are necessary. So rather, regardless of whether you think those numbers will pan out, I cannot answer them. But I can say that, again, simple math dictates X divided by Z gives you Y, and your rates will be that great. And I really, really just want to, again, commend these folks because I sat there, and for angry people to talk to you in a certain tone of voice, and for you, through civility, to make sure that you pre present yourself in the best light as a confident person, it's a very difficult decision, and it's a very difficult position. And these folks, especially some of these folks have served for years. Tom has been there since I've been here. And again, it really just boils down to me. When I look around, I see things like, okay, yes, we're not getting it. We're at a snail's pace. It's slow, things happen. But you know what? Since I've been in the town of Hastings, eight to 10 street sewer lines have been lined. That means eight to 10 streets will not fail anymore. You know what? We spent money. We spent our reserves. But guess what? Those repairs are done. So we're turning over things that have been repaired to a great state. And is it in our best interest financially? I can't tell you that. But I certainly can tell you from inside knowledge of that, that things positively have been happening in Hastings for a long time. You may not see it. You may not feel it. But I certainly know the underground part of Hastings has been improved and improved every year, every month. And I will give the county the credit where they deserve it because it over since, since again, Karen Stern was our commissioner, they have assisted the town of Hastings. Where years before, you know it, the, town, the county was not assisting the town of Hastings. But the town, county has now become assisting with the town. They provide... They help us with grants. They provide the management of those grants. So we have a very good relationship with the county, I feel, personally. So I don't have any issues with the county themselves, per se. That's an issue for us to divide, decide 51%. 50 plus one will decide that. But I will say that it really boils down to me. I'm one of 632 right now. If this continues and if we are dissolved, I'm one of 235,000. Think about that for a moment. Your voice matters here. And the reality of life is, if your voice doesn't matter, what good is your voice? Mm. I'd like to think that, personally, I'm not ready to give up on Hastings. I see things good happening here, and I understand people are frustrated. I understand people want things to happen. They've seen it their whole life not getting better. What really stymied us was a downturn in 2006 and seven. When everything went down, we had two communities that were gonna come in here after the annexations and we were gonna gain residents. We were gonna have new package plants. We were gonna have new community members, but we were still gonna have Hastings, the town of Hastings. Mm -hmm. And again, whether or not the town will survive the identity